what's up youtube you checking out the frequent flyer and i'm out here with the king kong 95 gt and you probably can see right there i got a little bit of grass on the side there's grass stains on the side of the canopy so that's evidence that i have been flying this already now this one came with a fly sky receiver so it's on fly sky protocol so i had to set up fly sky in my transmitter and my devo 10 with deviation so i'm going to be flying it with the devo still but on the fly sky protocol now this one oddly enough came with this balance port it came with a power lead that's a balance port actually so it has some benefits one of the benefits being that it allows this to be compatible with any uh hobby grade 2s battery that's a battery with a proper balancing plug on it and so the up the downside to that is you can't use 3s and this is 3s compatible but 3s balance leads are different they're a little larger than this so can't plug a 3s balance lead in this one so you're stuck with 2s i do plan to swap this over to xt30 as evidence with the battery here the battery has already been swapped over but that won't interfere with its operation with this thing because it still has the balance lead i know fly sky usually goes through ppm or well, most of them i think you can go through s bus with fly sky but this one is ppm i believe and i do notice the difference it's like a split second a hair of a second or whatnot of difference in uh control with this thing I, I can feel it it doesn't make much difference when you're flying but i can tell when i'm doing a uh, line of sight acro i can tell the controls seem to be a tad bit slower than when i'm using s bus or when i'm using the smx so we're gonna fire this thing up it rained out here so it's really wet out here it's dark and gloomy so I don't know if FPV is gonna be a good idea but I do plan to do some FPV with it so first of all let's fire this thing up and make sure it binds when I first binded it to the Devo it was working fine but then when I turned it off and came back to it later it didn't want to bind up I had a little problem with it so hopefully everything will go okay this time. Let's see. So it binded up to the Devo, no problem. We got a good FPV feed in here. Try to fire this thing up. I'm gonna try to sit it down over here. Okay, so let's check it out. So right off, let's do a punch out. So the punch out is a little lackluster compared to some of the other ones that I've been flying. Whoa, I got my rates all the way up. So this thing can flip over really fast. If I get full stick, let's see how fast it'll flip. Let's try a quick double flip. Actually, let's not. Let's just fly it around. So it flies nice. Feels like the 90 GT. Hovers smooth and all. I think it definitely will benefit if I use some gem fans on it. I think the gem fans will fit this. Not a whole bunch of power with these props that's on it now. 
Man, it flips fast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and not a not a lot of power readily available for this. And it flips so fast, it turns over really fast, so sometimes you can overcorrect on it, I guess, or undercorrect. Let's try some FPV with it. It feels really loose though. Maybe it's, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it's the uh, combination of the speed of it, how fast it turns over, the roll rate, and the feel of the transmitter. It feels a little off. Well, the receiver. Yeah, it seems like it's a slight delay. Well, let's try some FPV with it. Yeah, it feels really loose in the air. I like how fast it turns though. Now I have the patch antenna facing this um, post over here so in theory that should be making it um, not have as good reception as it should so I imagine the whoa I think the reason that it's wait a minute let me find my orientation <laughs> Okay, I didn't know what which direction I was facing. So it seems like um, that should be the reason why it's flickering so much. So the FPV signal might be a little better than what it's appearing to be now. bring it down We're over here yeah it feels really loose and we're getting really weak on power not used to that little of power being available to pull out of flips and all Wow, it's barely even going up now. So that's it. It just conked out on me. So not a lot of power on this one. Maybe this battery isn't a, enough for it. Maybe this will perform better on 3S. But uh, it killed the battery fairly quick before my uh, three minute warning went off on my uh, timer, on my transmitter. So, um, kind of lackluster not really a big fan of this on 2s but that's a quick demo flight of the king kong 95 gt stock 2s battery thanks for watching